in thank a masterful you. suit. Let me step right to the middle a little bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Step. Thank you. Thank you. Um, welcome uh, to Moon Age Daydream. Uh, I won't be here for a Q&A, so I'm going to do an extended introduction. And um, my wife will cue me in the back if I am going on too long, right, Dee? Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about uh, the movie. First of all, let me just thank you all so much for being here um, on a Friday evening at 10 o'clock. The movie's two and a half hours long, uh, so it's, uh, you're in for a little bit of a journey. Um, as I was, I started this film seven years ago. Um, it began as a kind of experiment in storytelling. Um, I had just finished a movie called Montage of Hack about Kurt Cobain. And I was interested in trying to create a um, non-biographical cinematic experience. And I came up with an idea called the IMAX Music Experience. And it was, the idea was I was going to create a series of 40-minute films for the science museums to run uh, past 6 o'clock at night uh, that would be kind of just immersive, non-biographical experiences. So, and the, what I was really interested in was taking over the sound systems um, because IMAX and Atmos and 12.0 offer us an opportunity to hear music like we've never heard it before. Um, so that was the original idea and uh, we started going down the road with the Beatles and um, David passed and I'd met with Bowie in 2007 to collaborate with on a uh, different type of hybrid nonfiction project. And I called his executor, uh, Bill Zisblatt, and told him what I was interested in doing. And he said, you know, most people don't know this about David, but he has saved everything. And over the past 25 years, he's been working with an archivist and building and collecting his archives. But he wasn't sure what to do with it. The one thing he said was he didn't want to participate in a kind of traditional documentary where other people were talking about him and defining his life for him. And so when I approached him and said, uh, you know, we just want to do this kind of immersive music experience, he said, you know, this is simpatico. And I, I, we should go forward with this thing under one condition. David's not here to authorize or approve your work. So it's not going to be Bowie on Bowie it's gonna be Morgan on Bowie, and you need to embrace that. They provided me with Final Cut and access to everything in their archives. There were five million assets. Um, we complemented that with a five-year global search for every piece of known media in existence around Bowie. We brought it into my office and if you forgive me, it's important I share this with you. I would normally say this in the post Q&A, but um, in terms of presenting you the narrative of how this came together, uh, I spent a year doing academic research, reading every book I could possibly read on Bowie, and on January 5th, 2017, I had a massive heart attack. I flatlined for a few minutes and was in a coma for a week. And um, when I came out of it, I was not a changed person. The first words out of my mouth to the surgeon were, um, I have to be on set on Monday. I'm directing a very important pilot for Marvel right now. And he's like, you're not going anywhere. I was like, no, you don't understand. And two days later, I pulled the plugs out and was on set shooting uh, this pilot. And um, about a few months after that, I started to assess my situation and my life. I have three young children, and I was wondering what the message of my life is. What have I left for my children? If I had died that night, dad used to say, I didn't know what that was, that work hard and end up at Cedar sinai at 47. And it was from that orientation that I began to go through David's archives. And very quickly, I realized that David was offering me advice and counsel on how to lead a more balanced and fulfilling life. And through David, I would have an opportunity to leave behind a kind of roadmap to my children 
in the event that I was no longer here. So that was the sort of situation, orientation, condition that I entered this film with. Um, the film went from being a immersive musical experience with no narrative to what you're about to see. It completely transformed over the past um, seven years from what the original intent was. And as I got into Bowie, it became very clear to me that he was the perfect subject for this medium because Bowie is impossible to define but you can experience him. And so with that, I will invite you to experience Bowie. And I hope you enjoy the journey with Moon Age Stadium. Thank you so much for being here this evening.